and Lord Ganesh, I give thanks to you for your ever-present friendship, your kind support, and your love for me and for all my YouTubers. And I remember you this day with gratitude in my heart and joy always. So mote it be. Hey TVs, it's Psychic Bob. Well, here it is Monday, and I know I'm getting this video out late. Psychic like Bob has had a kind of busy day. I've been doing a lot of stuff with my mom, and I'm a little tired too. I kind of had a rough night last night. I'm on the mend. Uh, anyways, I'm doing better, but I just want to take a few minutes and come here and be with you guys, and let you know I'm thinking of you, and I, I haven't forgotten you. I thought it'd be nice, you know, the sun's getting ready to set. Then I throw on my shoes here, and we get ready to go outside here. So let me dig out my shoes. I'm going to slip those on, and we'll just make it all happen. <laughs> there we go. Well, let's just take a little stroll. Come on along. Well, before we go outside, I just want to stop by my Louis Vuitton bag here and grab something. I got good old Louis here with me. I tell you, we're having such a good time. And... There's a book in here I want to get. Here it is. The Witch's Spell a Day Almanac. Let's go outside and watch the sunset and have a little reading from this. Come on along. So tell me, what have you guys been doing? Things around here have been pretty busy. We've been doing a lot of house stuff and getting ready to, you know, for the fall to come. Oops, let's turn on some light. I can't see it. Oops. There's our light. <laughs> There we go. Got our big fortress door going up. Because you know Say Bob has to have some extra security. You know those paparazzi are relentless. <laughs> I tell you, it is beautiful. It was really hot earlier today. But as you can see, it's gentle air now. It's just a pinkish tinge to the sky. It's good to get out and walk. You know, I love twilight time as the sun sets. It's so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. As you look around, you can see how the greenery is still in full lush bloom. Really beautiful here. Well, anyways, let's sit up here. We're going to just sit on the patio and have a little read. I was really inspired today by the, the reading in the Witch's Spell a Day Almanac, and I thought I'd share that with you guys. It's a really lovely, lovely thing to think about today. As you know, today in the United States is Labor Day, and here's their entrance for Labor Day, uh, September 4th, Monday. Uh, today our moon is in the second quarter of Aquarius. The color of the day is gray, and the incense of the day is Neroli. I don't know Neroli. I have to look that up. It says Labor Day. Okay, so it says, Give Thanks. That's the title. This is the end of the working summer. We remember that life is not always about doing our job. It is also time to remember that we have family and friends. Relax and have a good time. But remember to give thanks to your special influences that allow you to spend this time with family and friends. Be it your gods, the universe, or just your own hard work and efforts. Be grateful for your skills your health, and the friendship of those around you. The best way to say thanks is to make time for those who are important to us. Remember that they enable you to succeed by supporting you. Remember the summer for the pleasures you had with family and good friends. These are the memories that will keep you warm through the colder months to come and make you look forward to next summer. Isn't that a beautiful entry? Normally they do magic, but today you see the magic is 
in giving thanks. You know, as you saw at the beginning of this video, I was at my altar, and I've been giving thanks to the gods today for all of their wonderful support, their blessing, and their friendship. And you know, I give thanks also to all of you. You know, my work, my labor, is my labor of love. I love being a psychic, I love doing readings, and I love being here at YouTube and reading for all of you and doing horoscopes and all of that. Now I know today normally we have horoscopes, but Psychic Bob's really needed a break, so I just took the day off and I've really been spending the day in contemplation and quiet, and uh, I hope that's okay with you. Tomorrow and Tuesday we'll be back and we're going to have messages from the spirit world. But today for our Labor Day, I just wanted to take some time just for contemplation. You know, as I'm sitting here, I'm looking at this, the beautiful sky. Look at this massive tree here. Is this not amazing? So many things we have to be thankful for. The good green earth, the beautiful blue sky, and the love that we share with each other. And I hope that wherever you are today, you're taking a little time for yourself, a little time for rest, a little time for Thanksgiving. I want to say thank you. Thank you to all of you for being part of my channel. I want to say thank you to all of you who have been supporting my fundraiser for Hurricane Harvey. And uh, if you uh, haven't made a pledge yet, a donation to the Red Cross, I invite you today. I'm going to put a link below. This upcoming Thursday, we'll be having a drawing. And whoever's made a donation to the Red Cross and sent me a receipt to my email, again, my email link's below, we're going to draw your name. And whoever gets drawn will get a full private hour reading with me. So, you know, let's be thankful that we live in a, in a beautiful free country where we can help each other. And I hope that we'll all be thankful for the blessings for whatever our work is. For some of you I know are looking for work. You say, Bob, I don't have any work. I don't have any labor to be thankful for. Well, be thankful that you have the ability to be open to new beginnings. And, you know, I really tell you, as we end this year, we're going to end it on a quarter of prosperity. And I think 2018 is going to be a much brighter year. So this Labor Day, let's be thankful. Let's practice gratitude. You know, they say that when you have gratitude, everything is available to you and I believe that's true so don't get angry don't give in to despair don't say I don't have any work why should I celebrate Labor Day but maybe in the past you've had work that has sustained you and and if you have a roof over your head and you're able to watch this video then you have something to be thankful for because at least you have a connection to the internet you see times are tough and I know a lot of people are suffering but Labor Day is a time when we can just pause and reflect and say, you know what? It might be tough, but we're going to make it better. And so let the gods be part of your journey. Let the spirit lead you. Keep faith. Keep hope. Keep love in your heart. You know, as I always say on Zodiac Monday, I always say on Horoscopes Monday, I say, you know, when we're in despair or when we feel overwhelmed, don't give in to despair. Just pause and look to the stars. For the zodiac above us is always in motion, and that brings us new opportunities for joy and peace and happiness and success. So let's be thankful for the good things we have, and let's anticipate the good things yet to come. And together, working together and holding each other up in love, we've got a support that'll make us all strong. I'm so thankful for each of you being here at Spirit Channel today, and I hope that wherever you are, you're going to have a joyful and blessed Labor Day. And as our sun starts to set and we come to the end of this day, I'm going to be thankful for the day I've had and thankful for the night that is to come. I hope wherever you are, you're finding peace and joy. You guys are the best. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel. We'll be back here tomorrow. Uh, Lord willing and the creek don't rise, as they say. And uh, we'll have messages from the spirit world. You guys are the best. I love you. Sending my blessings. We'll see you tomorrow. Blessed be.